Good morning. I hope everybody's doing great today. I say good morning, and I realize some people watch this in the afternoon or evening, but I like to tape in the morning before my day gets too busy. So anyways, good morning. Welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. It is so good to have all my returning viewers back. Um, I'm still not having anybody introduce themselves in my Ravelry thread, so please do that, because without that, I don't, I'm going to have a difficult time drawing for door prizes and everything, because I'd like to know who I'm talking to. Okay, um, and welcome to my new viewers. I also would like to have you sign in on my Ravelry thread under the introduction, just your name and where you're from, just so I can get an idea of who's listening. Um, but either way, whether it's old or new, I love you all. I do. <clears throat> Here, spring has sprung. It is so nice. I've been able to go out for walks with my dog without um, a jacket on, maybe a light sweater or a shawl, but that's about it. But it is so nice. My daffodils are, some of them are very close to blooming, but my crocuses are just about done. The bees are coming out of their hives. So it's been, it's been so beautiful this past week. So, um, Without any further ado, this is probably going to be a rather short show. I don't think I have a whole lot to share today, but we'll see where we go. So without further ado, I'll be right back with what's on the needles. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is a part of the show where I like to show you what I've been working on this past week. Um, I actually finished one project yesterday. And I have another design project that I'm not quite ready to show you guys. So I've only got two things that I'm actually going to show you guys today. One, of course, is my daughter's kimono. This is the, let's see, left front. There's going to be an edging all around it. So if it doesn't look very big, that's why. My husband commented on that. I said, well, that's because there's an edging. And I'm sorry, I had an almond and it's bugging me now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it's made out of Bernat cottonish in the seersucker, oh, seersucker colorway. And it's such a nice, light, airy yarn. So anyways, I think she's really going to be happy with that. I don't know if she watches my podcasts or not. With two little ones, it's awful hard. And they've both been sick. Both little ones have been sick. So if she does, it's not a surprise. At least not anymore. <laughs> So that's the one thing that I've been working with on my needles. And then the other thing, I was just starting the second heel of my plain socks last week. And these are the socks that are going to go to either the men's rescue center or the soup kitchen in town. And so I had just finished one heel. And as you can see, I've got the other heel done. I'm all the way up the leg. And now I'm getting ready for, um, well, I've been doing the ribbing. I'll have these finished today. Um, and this has been out of the Knit Picks Stroll Tweed in the Farmhouse Heather. And if I have enough yarn here, I'll probably be starting another pair of the, these same socks or similar to these for my husband. He's requested a pair for, his, for work socks. So if I have enough yarn, he's going to get that. Um, I told him I wasn't quite sure about wanting to go back to the dark brown still, but I think I will. Because, you know, once it's done, I won't have to worry about the dark brown anymore. So it's very tiring on the eyes to work with dark colors very long. But anyways, that's it for what's on my needles. Now, I will be buying, I will be casting on a uh, chemo hat today. And I'll get those done in a couple days. And, oh, of course, the one item that I'm not showing you yet. As soon as I get it posted, I will let you guys know. But for right now, that's it. So in just a minute, I'll show you the one thing that I finished this week. Okay, that is my next chemo cap that I've gotten finished. This is a child's chemo cap, my own pattern. And yes, um, probably tomorrow I will be putting this as a free pattern on my Ravelry page, Naturally Kim's Knitting's Ravelry page. It'll be free. I want to see how many people will make these for charities. In fact, that might be a knit along for next month. If um, every time anybody finishes something for charity, if they post it onto, I'll have a um, 
and then long for charities thread and anytime you finish something for charity post a picture and tell what it is and you'll be in for a drawing for next month so right now that's another one of my hats for that that's it for what i finished now what what makes me happy is going to be a little bit longer so but i'll be back with that It did dawn on me, oh, yeah, before I go on, it did dawn on me that I didn't tell you anything about the kimono that I'm making my daughter for the new time visit, well, viewers or visitors. It's this kimono, actually, <laughs> I can't ever get straight where my fingers are. This kimono on Knit Kimono 2. So, it's called the, I will not say it right, I do know that, but it's called the Risu Katabira, and that was the front. This is what the back's going to look like. And there's a few more pictures. So I love it. I think my daughter will love it. I'm pretty sure she will love it. And her little two and a half year old will make sure she wears it because she likes to make sure mommy keeps warm. Okay, as far as things that have, that have made me happy this week, oh my goodness. I've had so many things. Um, two of them came in the mail Monday. One of them, sorry, I heard, I thought I heard a truck pulling up. And one of them was this bag. It has coffee makers and teapots and cafe. And on the bottom it says tea time. And of course it's the color pink. And I'll explain the, the reason for that in a minute. This comes from Knit Run Dig. I'll try to remember to put a link for her on my list then. Um, but that actually came with something else that had me doing a happy dance the other day. You've heard me mention Geeky Girls Knits on here. Love their podcasts. I never miss an episode. Well, Cece, the, the mother, has put up, out a book. Coffee with Cece. It's Seven sock patterns and a shawl, well, it goes a seven pattern caffeine inspired knitting collection. So there's seven sock patterns in here and there's a beautiful shawl pattern. There's a picture of the socks that are on the, that are in the book and the shawl is in the background. Those, they are all so beautiful and I cannot wait to start knitting out of this. As soon as I get this pair of socks for my husband done, the next socks I work on, are going to be out of here. I can't wait. Talk about happy. Now, the next thing that's been making me happy this week, um, mainly because my stick to it, stick to it to to this, stick it, stick to it to this. Anyways, um, I started the whole 30, I want to call it lifestyle. I, when you say diet, it makes people think you know, you're on it to lose weight. And yes, I need to lose weight, but that's not why I went on it. Um, it's a way of rebooting your, your body, basically. And then finding out which foods make you feel ick. Okay, so for the first 30 days, the whole 30, you cut out legumes except for, uh, except for um, snap, snap peas, snow bee, peas, and uh, green beans. All dairy, all, I'm going to forget now because it's become second nature, all grains, alcohol, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Anyways, you cut out those things for a month. And then when you, then after the month, you introduce things one at a time and you see, and you, you know, reevaluate your body and see what makes you feel worse or not so good and what makes you feel better. I don't know how to explain it, but I do know that I am now on day five. Five, five, where the camera is, day five. And sugar, that's what else, sugar added. Um, you don't use any sweeteners or sugars in anything. That's what else it is. Um, I thought I would have sugar cravings. I haven't. I like honey too, and I haven't missed it. Um, I haven't missed my dairy. Thank goodness it's not the middle of summer because I do like to have a tiny little bit of ice cream once in a while. Um, I've really not been missing anything. 
and I feel like I've been doing well. So, yeah, that's been making me very, very happy this week because I had doubts. Now, granted, I still have 25 days to go, but I've been doing really good, and I'm so pleased with it. So, anyways, I'm noticing that you can see out the corner of my glasses. Sorry. <laughs> Shows you how bad my eyes are. Anyways, um, I believe, oh, I tell you, this is going to be such a, such a short show. But when you don't have a lot to talk about, you don't have a lot to talk about. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go on with what I've been reading and what I've been watching. Okay, some of the things um, that I've been, well, it's rather funny. First of all, I want to tell you there was one other thing that makes me happy. I, I like to go to bed early, and my daughter and their family live out in California, and so it's three hours earlier there. And my grandbaby yesterday, my granddaughter, I should say, wanted to give me a call yesterday, and it was bedtime, but when she calls, she wants to Skype. And so we weren't going to Skype, but... My husband heard his granddaughter's voice on the phone, and he came running out, too, so we could Skype for a little bit. And that just makes me so happy that the little, our little girl likes to see, our little girl and our little girl's girl likes to talk to us on Skype. And so that's, just, that's something else that's made me happy this week. It makes me happy every time she, they, she, they call. So, sorry, I noticed I just have mascara on there. <laughs> I thought I looked in the mirror. I guess I didn't look well enough. Okay, I've been talking about how um, at church we've been reading Soul Keeping as a church. Well, we're finishing it up, and it's really made me reflect on my, well, my, my religious walk, my Christian walk. And this past week, our pastor kind of gave us an assignment saying that we need to look at when we're looking at nature or we're looking at our spouse or whatever we need to reflect on god throughout each thing with our with our spouses we are supposed to reflect on what it, uh, on how we love them and what was funny was i had just told my husband that morning because when he's home on the weekend well he's been very busy with his work but he's got his nose in his laptop computer and it's kind of like being alone in the house. You know, we don't get to talk. I don't like to bother him when he's working because I don't want to be responsible for messing things up. And I, I'm not a morning person anyways. And I had to get up early and work in the office. And I kind of told him that, you know, it would be nice if he would talk to me once in a while. And after church, I said, I don't know how you put up with me. I said, I look at you and I hear what the pastor said today. And there's so many things that I love about my husband. And to nitpick at the one little thing that is that irritates me, it's not right. And he goes, it's okay. But, you know, he is the sweetest, most forgiving man. And I know he's going to see this, but I, that's not why I said it. He is a dear, dear man. Um, best friend. Anyways, so this week I've been taking my soul-keeping assignment. And out my living room window, the one right behind me, um... I have two bird feeders, and I do this anyways, but I've been doing, paying special attention to the birds that go there every day, and I just smile when they're eating, or to think about the way God created them. Um, the flowers that have been coming out from my yard, I've been so thankful for them. So Soul Keeping by John Ortberg is a wonderful, wonderful book to go to and then reflect on how well you are actually keeping your soul. Now, another book that I've been reading, and I just reviewed on my reading, writing, and so much more blog on Blogger, is the Sherlock Holmes devotional. My husband and I started reading this a little while ago, and he and I both love Sherlock Holmes. Um, he's loved Sherlock Holmes since he was a kid. I came into it after we were newly married. Um, I started reading Sherlock Holmes mysteries when... Um, he would be in college classes and I would need something to read at night. 
And so I go to the library and get Sherlock Holmes books. And I fell in love with Sherlock Holmes mysteries. Well, when I saw that NetGalley's had Sherlock Holmes devotionals, I had to grab it. And it, is real, it was really, really good. I mean, they would take, they would reflect on either a case, a setting, um, Mr. Watson, Sherlock, you know, anything in the book. And they would talk about that. Then they would re relate to how that fits in with the Bible. And there would be a little reading to go with it. It's a great book. I highly recommend it. Now, that's it for what I've been reading. <laughs> I have been reading a couple other things, but they were old things that I just haven't been able to finish yet. So, um, I also have not been watching a whole lot of television. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I haven't watched a lot of my shows that I watch because HBO had a free weekend not too long ago. And when they have free weekends, I like, that's my chance to see movies that I don't get to see otherwise. And between them and and another network, um, I collected all three Hobbit movies. I had never seen any of the Hobbit movies. Like I said, my husband and I just don't go to the movies that often. So I watched them right in order. And may I say, oh, there were times when I would just cry. Oh, just, they just touched me, especially the last one. But they were so, so good. Oh. Didn't mind if I wasn't watching anything else because of that. I'm going to take a sip of my tea just a moment. It's in my World Wildlife mug. I'm having uh, some of my very favorite that I can't get any more tea, Rainforest Tea. It makes me feel good. It just relaxes me. I don't put any sweetener or anything in it, so it's loud. Anyways, um, love the Hobbit movies. So good. The one show I did watch this week was Once Upon a Time, and it's continuing the story of Storybrooke in the underworld, and I did, I need, I should warn you, I'm going to talk about things. If you don't want to hear about Once Upon a Time, fast forward a little bit. Anyways, um, excuse me, um, and we reflect back on Rumpel's life with his first wife and some of the hardships that they went through how they almost lost bay fire at one time um it was really good and as i've said before hook's taken all the dark dark ones into himself well so he was going down to deal with hades and hades turned it around on him you can't mess with hades but we did get to see um, Rumpel's wife, and she helped um, Rumpel and Emma to find Hook. And now Hook's back with them. But Emma, Snow, and Regina all have tombstones to themselves made in the graveyard. So this means that, as of right now, they're stuck down there. So... <laughs> Hiding times. I'm going to add something else to my what I've been watching and reading because I do watch or listen to a lot of podcasts throughout the week. Um, this week, I've, I've really listened. I put down Geeky Girls Knits, but I'm trying to think if I did listen to them this week. I've talked with her a few times and I, I send Instagrams and everything, but I don't know that I've actually, I don't know that they had an episode last week because last week was the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Oh, yes, they did. They did it a day early. So, yes, I saw um, Geeky Girls Knits this past week. And then there's another podcast not called 90% Knitting. Oh, I love her. She is just so cool. And she tells, she told in her podcast how they were in Toledo for a concert. And Toledo is just north of us. I'm sitting there going, oh, I wish I would have known. I, we'd have gone up there and had supper together or something. But anyway, so this week I've been mainly watching. I've watched those two and got them all caught up to date. And I'll let you know each week what I've been, what other podcasts I've been watching or listening to. Um, there's so many that I enjoy. Never Not Knitting is another one that she actually has got me started listening to podcasts because I really enjoyed a way, the way Alana 
um, talks and shares things. Hers, hers is not a video podcast, but it is a podcast. Um, so I'll have to add her to my show notes because I didn't put that down. Now, um, I'm going to pause and when I come back, I'll let you know any announcements and things like that. Just a moment. So didn't I tell you this was going to be a short week? <laughs> Um, as far as announcements, like I said, I think I'm going to open up a thread right now as to for the month, for starting now through the month of April, anything you start and complete in the month of, from now to the end of April, um, that is made for charity, go ahead and put it on my, my knit along for charity, April charity, April charity knit along, that's what I'll call it, and post a picture and I'll put your name in for drawing. I'll let you know what the prize is. I've not quite figured that out. I've got to go through all my stash and see. It will probably be yarn, but in fact, it probably will be yarn. Um, if you if you can think of any prizes that you would prefer to have or any um, other knit-alongs or contests that you would like to have, please let me know. I did tell you that once I get 10 people it, that have introduced themselves on my Ravelry thread, naturally, not, naturally Kim's Knitting, I will um, then have a drawing, and it, that will probably be like stitch markers, okay, unless there's something else. If you know of anybody that would like to donate anything for prizes, I'll be glad to help them out. Um, I am still looking for some pattern testers. Um, I do have one or two, but I've been keeping them kind of busy, and they do like to do their own knitting. I would like to have more because I am working on a cowl right now and I have a shawl in the works so if you'd like to work on either one of those things please let me know um, I would love to have as many helpers as I can okay I think that's it for my announcements I do need to get to Ravelry and make sure to make that change add that thread otherwise you can find me on Ravelry under Napier's Knits that's N-A-P-I-E-R-S K-N-I-T-S and under Naturally Kim's Knitting is the group's name. On Twitter at KSNapier475. Instagram, um, Knitting underscore Kim. YouTube, it should be Naturally Kim's Knitting. WordPress, it's all one word, Naturally Kim's Knitting dot WordPress dot com. And on Blogger, it's Naturally Kim's Knitting. There will be, um, you'll, it'll come up on a card af after I'm done with this. Um, so if you didn't catch any of that and you need to see it again, that you can find it there. Plus, it will be in my show notes, which are on WordPress and um, Blogger. So otherwise, I've loved talking with you guys this week. I told you it'd be a short show, and it is. Um, maybe I'll be able to stay up with things next week, and I'll have a lot more to gab about. Otherwise, love you guys. Big hugs, and have a happy, happy knitting week. Bye-bye. <laughs>